All right, we're talking about uh, should Mr. Clinton resign after his uh, inappropriate uh, uh, sex act. Uh, should he resign or should he stay in office? So let me talk live you on that. You think Mr. Clinton should resign or remain in office? Well, I don't know if, if Clinton can be um, trusted anymore. Um, well, he I has been changed. Pardon the me? country's still in good shape. So what do you mean, can trust well, it? I don't know. Did you mean? trust President Clinton? Pardon me? Did, I'm, I'm pardoning. Did you trust uh, uh, John F. Kennedy? Did That's I all he did, man. Well. <laughs> Nobody said nothing. Yeah, but at least he was, um. He, he at least what? At least he was with some better looking ladies. Oh, well, now, that's uh, to personal choice, how they look. I grant you some of that. Uh, he had women better looking than uh, Monica Lewinsky, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Marilyn Monroe, come on. Yeah, Marilyn Mon Monroe, she was Hollywood star, right? Um, I just, I just pray to God that um, he at least fucked her in the ass. Stomach talk live, you on there. This whole Clinton thing never would have happened if women were not such little tramps, those little cocksuckers. Don't they call like me. Stomach talk live, you on there. Yeah, I think Clinton should uh, stay in office, you know. You do? He should just uh, keep on fucking away. Okay. Stomach talk live, you on there. You on Clinton. His balls are big. Uh, okay, lad is lit up. Well, we're getting a lot of sick people that are calling. Uh, no reason. Uh, they're obsessed with sex. So, Mr. Clinton, they said, come out and tell us the truth. If he had uh, told them the truth in January, they'd have still been sick. So he told them the truth, they still sick. I wouldn't have told them nothing. I would tell him, go jump in the lake. Hey, ask me about my sex life. And I would tell you to jump in the lake. Slummy Talk Live, you on there. Come on, everybody. Leave Clinton alone. He's a good guy. I mean... Well, I don't know nothing against him. Oh, jeez. I mean, this is his private life. Or right. Everybody but should have a right to the privacy in their own bedroom. Exactly. Everyone's got skeletons in their closet. That's right. Nobody's perfect. The Bible said all of us come up short, so none of us can judge by our standards. We can judge by the way God said judge. I only. agree. I agree, brother. Thank you. Thank you. God will bless I, you for I coming. I hope through. he sprayed his cum all over. Okay. Thank you for calling. Clayton is nothing but a little whore. He, um, fucks all the put. Just let me talk live. You on there. Um, I think it's all right with, with Clinton and everything. He should stay in office. And uh, I think it's okay what he did because, um, I've been... Well, um, well, maybe I may not approve of anything that is wrong. The Holy Quran said enjoying all that is good and forbid all that is bad. But I'm talking about yeah. these people, they're not clean enough to judge him. He well, probably best out there. It's, I mean, what he did, you know, it's, mm -hmm. all, he, he, it's all in the past. And we wouldn't have known nothing about it if this girl hadn't have been wired up. <laughs> um, you wire up anybody and go in their bedroom, you're going to get something. And we don't want to know about it. Yeah, exactly. So that. we and cannot it, forgive you for bringing our information that we don't want. It's, it's okay. Um, that That's not a, a appropriate, now do we approve of it. It's it's all right that he did that because I've been fucking Hillary. Man, these some sick people. And you think they would judge Mr. Clinton? The Republican clonies are the sickiest, meaniest people in the world today to judge another man for his private life. I don't care about your private life, nor do I want to know. Just let me talk live, you on there. Yeah, Clinton should uh, get out of office and just get his cocks up. You know, uh, see, uh, these people who uh, is hating Mr. Clinton are really somebody who is really sick. <laughs> Anybody who would hate a person without a call it's the meaniest person on this planet Earth, and believe it or not, there is a guy. 